Hi everyone, this is Ms. Allison again, and I'm back to do another read aloud for OUSD's Harvest of the Month. The Harvest of the Month for June is Dark Leafy Greens, and what better way to celebrate than reading a book about how to grow a salad? So today's read aloud is called So You Want to Grow a Salad, and it walks you through all the steps on how to grow a salad, which includes all of the delicious dark leafy greens that we love to eat. So let's get started. So You Want to Grow a Salad by Bridget Hughes. Salads are delicious and healthy, but have you ever wondered where they come from? The vegetables in salad grow on farms and in gardens. You could even grow a salad at home. You can't grow a whole salad, of course. You have to grow each ingredient separately. Let's see. For the croutons, you'll need a wheat field. For the dressing, you'll need olive oil and vinegar. Olives for the oil grow on olive trees. Vinegar comes from grapes, which grow on vines. Unfortunately, you can't use the whole neighborhood as your garden. How about starting small with lettuce, cucumbers, and carrots? You can buy seeds at a garden store. There are lots of choices. Your carrots can be orange, but also purple or yellow. Seeds are like kids. They need food to grow. Plant food is sunlight, water, and nutrients from the soil. You'll need to find a sunny spot for planting. Wait, don't plant yet. Remember, plants need soil too. You can buy soil or make your own soil from compost. Compost is a mixture of stuff that used to grow as plants. Worms and other small creatures eat the compost and turn it into soil. You can add the soil to your garden bed. Time to plant. For the lettuce, make a line with a trowel. Then sprinkle the lettuce seeds all along the row. Cover the seeds with a little soil. Otherwise, birds will eat the seeds. Make another line, not too close to the lettuce. Then plant the carrot seeds the exact same way. Cucumbers can't be planted in neat little rows. They grow on vines, which take up lots of space. If your garden is small, put up trellises for the vines. Now, water your garden and wait, but not for long. The seeds will sprout in a few days. You may have too many sprouts. Leave the tallest and healthiest looking plants in the ground. Pull up any plants in between. When will the salad be ready? Be patient, keep watering, and be sure to pull out any weeds. Weeds take nutrients away from your plants. It's harvest time. Pick some lettuce leaves, pull up carrots, pick the cucumbers when they are six to eight inches long. Long cucumbers look cool, but they taste bad. Now you can make a delicious, super fresh salad for your family. Um, and at the end of the book, there's a really nice recipe for a garden salad. You have the ingredients list and how to make it, which is awesome. And that is the end of the book. I hope you enjoyed my reading of So You Want to Grow a Salad. And I'll be back for July's Harvest of the Month, which is great. I will see you all very soon.